Hi, and welcome back to our series on basic procedural generation concepts. In previous episodes, we looked at how to pick a random item from a collection and how to spawn items across an area. As you can see in the Unity editor, we have, this is our result of spawning 100 items from negative 50 to positive 50 on the X and Z. What I'm gonna show you now, as you can see, they're all facing in the same direction. I'm gonna show you how to randomize their rotation. So what we'll do is we will add to actually the Roboto yellow and the Roboto red prefabs a script that is going to, in fact, we'll add it to the Roboto red because this is the master prefab. Roboto yellow is a prefab variant, which you should learn about if you don't know already. It's a new feature in Unity 2018.3. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a randomize rotation script. And we're going to add it to this item itself. So it will randomize its own rotation when it gets spawned. So let's open this up and we're going to create a new variable called randomize my rotation just so it's different from the class name. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say there's a lot of different ways we can do this. I'll show you the simplest one. We're going to say transform.rotation equals random.rotation. Boom that easy. We're just going to call this from start, enter play mode, and they all look a little bit sort of something happened right there. <laughs> they got hit by a bomb. So yeah, this works, right? This is, it's cool. Uh, definitely could be useful if we're placing rocks or something, but it looks a little bit extra crazy, right? So what we want is potentially, let's say we just want to randomize around a single axis. So what we'll do is we'll say randomize, let's call it Y rotation. Now what we're gonna do here, we need to work a little bit with the dreaded quaternions. We are going to create a new quaternion called rand Y rotation. And we're gonna set that to equal quaternion.euler. And so we're not gonna randomize the zero. We are gonna randomize the why? And so what I'm going to do is between random.range 0 and 360. And then not, uh, not rotate around the Z or Z axis. So then once we've created that rotation, we're going to say transform.rotation equals rand Y rotation. And of course, it would probably be better if we wanted to control the degree of this. We could make a variable for it, right? But for now, let's just do it like this. So I'm going to take this and replace that function call with this one. And now they're all suspiciously looking at each other and looking in various different directions. Uh, and look more like, this looks more like a kind of a robot conference, right, than a... Uh, robot bomb attack, right? So here our robots are standing around pleasantly either looking at each other or avoiding eye contact awkwardly. And as you can see, we were able to randomize their rotation only around the Y axis using this simple function here. So that is how you randomize the rotation of an object around a single axis. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on the bell so you can receive notifications when new videos are uploaded. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.